Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on here with a little DIY today using this gorgeous dye that I purchased from AliExpress. And we're going to be using this heart tag here, that beautiful stitched edging, and also this little um, fishtail tag here or flag and we're going to be creating Valentine's heart tags and we'll also be using this new Simple Stories Happy Hearts um, paper pad that I recently hauled and I haven't played with this this collection yet so I thought that I'd choose out a few pretty um, papers to create my heart die cut as well as um, you're also going to need some vellum if you have any vellum so my idea is to cut out the heart piece um, then die cut out the fishtail banner using vellum and then we are going to be popping like a cute little word piece over the fishtail banner to create um, just like a cute little message on the heart tag. So I think I want to use this pretty pink pattern. Looks gorgeous. And... All the choices. I'm wondering whether or not to go with a. I do love this floral one as well. I know it's a lot of pink, but oh, actually, I'm going to be using this piece anyway. So I wanted to use this piece so I can cut out the little words and stick them over my uh, vellum fishtail. So, um, and then we're going to staple them on with a little pink staple. And I thought that would look really cute. So maybe I'll just stick with, um, so I'm not wasting paper, just the same patterned paper. So I'm going to be die cutting these off camera just to save this video from being way too long. So I need to do, let me just pull this off which I should have already done <laughs> so I use that and then I thought this little banner piece because this little banner piece is going to be covered with possibly a cute little word um, so yeah we'll see how we go so I'll be back guys I am going to die cut out my heart tag as well as my um, fishtail tag off camera. Okay, so what I decided to do was cut out these pretty little um, heart pieces. I'll just poke out. Some little bits that are stuck in there and then I realized that the patterned paper that I used so this pink polka dot one it actually you know has a um another pretty pattern on the other side so I thought I would just yeah turn it over so I've done two floral hearts and two polka dot hearts so yeah it gives us two of each and I'll just get out the little bits that didn't come out quite properly. It's hard to see. I know there's one there somewhere. I think I got it. such pretty patterns okay 
So those were the two dies that I used. And if you don't have a um, like a fishtail die, you can just cut the strips out by yourself. So um, it's quite easy. I'll just show you guys. So all you would need to do is just cut a little bit of the vellum out. Now you could use your scissors or you could use your um, paper cutter and then just create your own little fishtails. For those of you that don't have a die, and then that gives you your little fishtail. So yes, that one's a little bit wonky, but that's like a, a rustic one. <laughs> And like I said, you could do it if you wanted it to be straight and not sort of a bit crooked. You could use your um, your paper cutter. And just any any heart die that you have. So I also had um, these heart dies as well. Which So any type of heart die that you have. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. But I thought I would use it because it's a good size. And it already has the hole in the top for me to pop some... Um, some string in all right so what we want to do next is I want to cut out some of these word pieces so I'm thinking I might even um, just use my scissors to fussy cut these out so I might just do a little bit off the bottom here and then we'll see what words we've got to play with. So we have... Do the strips and that'll make it way easier for us. And I've wanted to cut these by hand instead of using my paper cutter because I want it to have that kind of look, that sort of messy, imperfect presentation so I'm sorry if the lighting isn't that great either guys it's um it's quite gloomy here today so let's go love you forever that gives us a word We've got love you, but that might be a bit short, but I can use that for when I'm doing another project. Be my Valentine. That's a good length. Um, but sweetheart, shorter one. February 14. And that one's been cut off. Um, that one's been cut off, so I'll just get rid of that bit there. So then we have hugs and kisses. Love you to the moon and back. That's a really long one. Um, be mine, short one. I really, really <laughs> like you. That one's been cut off as well. Um... See what we uh, love you forever. So it looks like they're quite um, repetitive words. So I've got to love you to the moon and back. Be my Valentine, love you forever, love you forever, hugs and kisses, 
These ones are B2 small, the ones that say B mine. I'm sorry about my terrible nails too, guys. February 14th. Hmm. One's a bit short. So I use them for smaller projects. I do like these ones that they're kind of the same sort of length. Now let's have a look. So we've got our fishtail. Make sure they're up the right way. Now there is a little hole on these um, fishtail banners as well because they're like a little tag. So you could pop, if you wanted to, a pretty little dangle off of there. Okay, so then we're going to need a stapler. I'll put it on this side. And to the moon and back, they're too long. So, oh yeah, love you forever. That goes on there quite nicely. You know what else we need? I think we need a bit of gold. So what we we're going to do, the idea is to stick these on, but because you can't see the vellum through there, um, I'm wondering if we use a piece of this beautiful gold trim that my friend Anna sent to me, um, creatively blessed. And let's see, because we want a little bit of sparkle. Oops, I cut too many on that one. I just want three, four would be too long. But save that little heart that you cut off because you can use that to um, glue and use on projects. So, thinking if we did something like that there. That's sticking out a little bit. That's quite cute. All right, so I think I'm going to go with this, this gold. I'm going to get a little bit of foam tape because I want to prop that up just a little bit to give it some dimension. So, um, you could always, if you didn't want to staple these on, you could always stitch them on as well with your sewing machine, which would look quite cute. And now, just thinking, foam tape. Oh, I just realized as well, guys, I have this old packet of crepe paper Kiss Kiss, which is starting to fall apart. And I've got these cute little arrows as well. They're all starting to lose their adhesive. So I think it's about time that I start using up some of my older things because they're just they're just going to fall apart in the end. Like As you can see, a lot of it already has all those little bits like there's not much adhesive left on some of these and these wooden pieces have just come right off but I think everything else is okay so I'm wondering about popping the arrow on there maybe somewhere as well the only thing is I've only got three of the arrows But we could probably do maybe two. Mm -hmm. 
either way. I think we'll figure it out as we go. I kind of don't have any sort of plans. So I was kind of just winging it. <laughs> so let's just cut. I have this little bit of spare foam tape. I just want to cut. Got to make sure you guys go grab a drink if you haven't already, or something to eat. Even though this is a simple project, um, it can be quite time consuming once you've cut out all your little bits and pieces and put them together and, you know, decide what you want to do. So I'm always undecided. So I'll keep probably changing my mind throughout this um, process. <laughs> So I haven't had much of a chance to do um, Valentine's crafting yet this year. I've kind of been extremely busy, so I thought I'd better put something out that's easy for you guys to follow. And it's pretty, and you can use them to package up your little Valentine's gifts that you send to people. So I hope you guys can see well enough because they are quite little um, projects, lots of little pieces. I think I just put that all crooked, but that's okay. And maybe will we go hugs and kisses? Or we're missing a be my Valentine, I've noticed, with our cutoffs. So I have quite a few more ideas that I'm wanting to do, so it's just a matter of whether I get the time to um, film and create them for you guys to see. So there's our little fishtail banner pieces. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to think. Whether I want to do something like this and staple them on. Let's have a look. I want the heart picking out just slightly. Here's hoping that this works. And we'll just go another one again. Oh. Might have to glue it down as well, just so it doesn't go crooked. Mm -hmm. 
because those staples don't really want to hold on there well, but I think that looks quite cute. I wonder. Just had an idea. Could do something like that. That looks quite cute. With the little arrow sticking out there. So, I quite like that. So, I think we might do that with two of them. And for those of you that don't have this this gold heart trim, you could use just any glitter gold cardstock paper to do. Um, you could do like a layered fishtail if you wanted to. So we've got three more to go, and. Once I've decided what I'm doing, the process is a little bit faster. Just sometimes it, it takes me a while to figure out sort of what I want to do and where I want to go with this project. But I think so far it's turning out quite cute. So let's just try with this one. We'll stick that little arrow in there on an angle. So that kind of looks like a little cupid's heart. We might just have to adhere that down with some glue just so it's not um, poking up. So I'm just going to use my tacky glue. And we are going to stick just a bit of glue on that piece there. And just a little dab. Under this vellum.
There's one. Made a little mess. came out then like a bubble just adhere that Let's do two of the same. They are coming together. They look so cute. ones will just be without the arrows because I don't think I have any more no it doesn't quite have the same effect as this one but they're still cute. I think they're adorable okay so I might just get some um, gold thread to pop in the tops and then I think we are done okay so I'm just going to use this like gold sort of twine See how we go with that. One. Oh. Some might be a bit longer than others. That's all right. I just thought. A fine gold thread would be really pretty to loop through you could put a um, like an eyelet through if you wanted to to keep the tag more sturdy but I think this will do the job let's do the little loop and then and we have our pretty little tags, little Valentine's gift tags. Thought they turned out so cute. Considering I sort of didn't know where I was going, all I had an idea of was, yeah, making little Valentine's gift tags <laughs> in a heart shape with a fishtail. And um, yeah, the rest has just come to me. They're super adorable. All right. Rest and then we'll be done. Let's 
So you could make like a little pillow box and you could hang these off of the little pillow box with some little like chockies in there or a sequin mix. Off of um, like when you're wrapping your Halloween, uh, Halloween, your Valentine's packages. It's so weird because it's like we went. I went straight from Halloween crafting to a little bit of Christmas to you know now Valentine's. It's it's just all moving and happening so quickly. Kind of like blink and the year's gone. Next, our little blue one. And last of all, that one left. This one, the string's a little bit short. I might have to trim some of the other strings because they seem a bit long. Yeah, almost dropped it. My uncoordinated fingers and hands. See, that's actually a really good, good size. Could I even add like a little um, puffy sticker or a little heart piece on the end there if you wanted to. I'm just going to just trim a couple of these so they're not so long. There we have it. So there's our little Valentine's heart gift tags. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, thanks for all your love and support. Take care, guys. Bye.